What's up? Alexi One here playing Garpen. Gar Garpen. I don't know. Garun Nuriev. And he's playing this d4 bishop f4 nonsense. I usually don't play this d5, but I thought, what the hell? Let's just try it. So I'm gonna attack the center here. And then just develop normally. And I'm gonna try and push this e f e5 idea, but this is somewhat annoying. Normally I want to put my knight there. Just to support this e5. Which now I can't really do. Uh, either way, this position should be equal. I've got one sort of weakness here. So yeah, white is a little bit better because of this bishop being out of the well, out of his pawn chain, whereas mine is inside. So if mine were on f5, I'd be more than okay. Now though, there are some issues. Knight a5, and I wanted to go rook e8, trying to get bishop f8 in. And he avoids it, which is good for him. Okay, so um, I'm a bit uh, stuck. My pieces are... Uh, I don't have a lot of room to maneuver and uh, my pieces are a bit, well, passive. So knight c7 is uh, threatened. Let's go bishop f8. So knight c7 doesn't work now because of either bishop takes d6 or even queen takes d7. And now knight c7 is not a, not a threat anymore. I guess we're still somewhat worse seeing as he has the c file and if we, we go rook c8 this one is hanging. But yeah, trading off pieces is probably good. Although this move, I'm not 100% sure. Rook c7 now should be very annoying. And just rook c1, or even he can take here. I, I don't know if that's... Uh, my guess is rook c1 is, uh, is very good. But, oh wait, if he went rook c1, maybe I had a6 and then knight c4. So yeah, this should be better. Um, so we're down a pawn. But we have the C file now, which is something. And uh, yeah, my guess is black is uh, well somewhat worse, but it should be okay maybe still. Queen C3 now maybe though. If he takes a draw, I'm gonna definitely take it. Well, maybe Knight C3. Knight c3, I want to go knight c4 maybe. Okay. Let me just, just defend this pawn. Let's b6 here. Yeah, now queen c3. Okay, I should take and activate my king. Huh, that's uh that's pretty sweet. If I go king e seven, rook takes b six. Yeah, that doesn't work. That's super annoying because now I can't really move anything. Hmm. So if king e7, rook takes b6, rook takes b6, knight c8, and knight takes b6. And I can't really capture the knight or anything, so I have to do something else. This is like the only move. I can't move my king, I can't move my rook. Yeah, and now I'm stuck again, because if I move my knight, a5 is the threat. And if I... Oh, now I can go king e7. Because my rook is defended, so if rook takes b6, I can just take on d6. I didn't spot that. 
And now we have some counterplay against this pawn, maybe. My king is better than his, obviously. And, uh, uh, do we mind? Not really. Oh, that's a good move. That's a shame. Hmm. Okay. Um, we're down on time as well, but we'll we'll try and get some uh, time pressure going, I guess. You can check, check, but it's nothing. So let's attack there. Okay, I'm gonna take the pawn if I uh, if I can. He's gonna check. Yeah, this should be winning for him, I guess. Knight d6. Knight d6 wins instantly, I guess. a8. Uh, it's not that easy, by the way. Because this ending is still... Well, still maybe even a draw. But I'm gonna flag him anyways. Uh... Didn't play this uh, as good as I should have. Wow, maybe I'm not even gonna flag him. Ah, uh, he's gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna win it, but it's a draw. Anyways, he's gonna take it. No, he's not. Jeez, is he lagging or am I lagging? So yeah, it's a draw now. Yeah, he had such lag, so uh, this lag somewhat helps. ICC prevents the lag from uh, so normally he has like a, a 0.4 second delay and uh, that doesn't go out of his time so every move he gets essentially a half a second more time than he should have and it's not well I guess no one abuses it uh, but yeah, it, it 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 it's something to think about because now, in the ending, he can just think more and he can pre-move more. Because well, I don't know. He didn't abuse it. I'm I'm sure he didn't. But there are some guys who do abuse it in the one minute pool, uh, especially. But anyways, let's have a look. So uh, this bishop f4 nonsense. So one of the ideas now is. That White wants to go e3 and c3, and essentially how I how I played against against it was uh, what White wants, not really what I should want, but what he does want. So normally after this bishop f f4 I go d6 and g6 and bishop g7 castle, knight b7 rook e8 and then e5. So for instance. I don't know, I'm just making some moves here. Yeah? And here I go e5. And um, this is some somewhat of what I try to do against this opening, but now I thought, who cares, I'm gonna do something different. And I went for, uh, I went for d5, and he went e3. So now I still want to get this e5 going, but it's not supported by this pawn. Which can become a problem, so this c5 is fine, I guess. Taking is also fine, but I don't have to. Actually, I wanted to point out that I was gonna maybe take, and then I somewhat slipped by taking, but it's no no problem. Mm. The one problem about taking, though, is that he, if he takes with the c pawn, his knight can go to c3, whereas if I go knight c3, knight c6, he's probably going to go knight bd2, and if I take now, this is a better version than uh, in the game. So, yeah, probably knight c6 is better. Because if he takes, well, I'm probably going to win this one back anyways, knight e4 or something, and just snap it off, because b4 fails to this move. 
So yeah, my guess is knight c6 is much better. Here I should go knight h5 it seems. Bishop g5, h6, bishop, uh, maybe g5 here. But, uh, feels so yucky. I don't know, this weakens the light squares around my king. And uh, in a practical game like this, I don't really like it. Seeing as we're not even going to play e5 next anyways. For instance, takes takes. If you play e5 here, this pawn is hanging, so. I went e6. Uh, the downside of that, that move is my bishop here on c8. Where is it going to go? Um, I could have played bishop f5, but because of this uh, g6 uh, move, my, my bishop is somewhat stuck here. Can't really draw back to g6 now. Whereas if you uh, well, if you compare it to White's position, he's gonna play h3, and the bishop can drop back to g3 and even to uh, h2. So it's not as ideal to put the bishop on f5 now, as it would be if my bishop were uh, well on d6 or something. So if I can put this pawn back, <laughs> I could play bishop f5, but pawns don't move backwards. So. And also, the problem of this position is uh, knight b5 and knight c7. Well, for instance, if he goes knight b5 now, it's not such an issue. I can go a6, and if knight c7, we're, we're going to go rook a7 and play b5 and just attack it. This knight is stuck here now, but if, uh, if I don't have a move like that, I really have to watch out. Because if I go rook e8, for instance, instead of e6, which is a strange move, but then knight b5 should be annoying, because now knight c7 is a threat. Um, we went bishop d7, and this is a good move, just pointing out that b7 is my weakness here, and the normal response could be to go this, but the pawn structure here is terrible, because he's just going to win this pawn and he'll be a pawn up. If I were to have something like knight d7 or something, I'd be okay, but... So instead I went knight a5, which is the best move it seems. He went queen b4, and then rook e8, trying to get bishop f8 in. Because trading these two pieces is uh, somewhat in my favor, I, I presume. Uh, I thought it was time to play b6, because this knight has to go back sometime, uh, maybe to c6, c6, and even he can go to b7. So yeah, I don't think it's a bad move, but this move is pretty annoying as well. Jensen likes this one. So if it takes, then it just rook c8, and we have some sort of compensation, which I doubt. I, I don't like this for black any any way, shape, or form. So this was uh, played. I didn't mind to draw here. 95, yeah, okay. This 94 is pretty good. I missed this idea. So if knight c7, we have queen takes. Even if knight takes, I thought knight takes, knight takes a8. But yeah, okay, we can just... This knight is never coming out. Um, so 94. Wow, oh, that's a good move. So And then a6 maybe? Takes, takes. Mm, yeah, this is not good. B6 is hanging. Can't really defend it, I can't move it. Yeah, this is not ideal. I don't know. 94 seems to be uh, 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 an annoying move. But maybe we can just take. Because if knight takes, we then have bishop f8. Knight takes f7. Wow. Knight, yeah, and then queen d7 back. <laughs> That's a nice move. Okay. Well, instead we went bishop f8. Takes, takes, and rook c1. Yeah, and this is... Well, it's not really nice. 
At first I thought uh, rook c1, but then I was gonna play a6, knight somewhere, and then knight c4. Uh, and this should be fine for me, I guess. b7, b5. So he took. It's worth pointing out knight c6, just taking on a8 is possible. Takes and takes. And we're down upon here as well. Rook c1, then taking on a2, rook c6. So white is uh, very active here. Um, so takes, takes, queen c7, knight b5, queen c2. Yeah, I wasn't too happy here. I thought, uh, it felt like I should have drawn uh, after the opening, but felt like now I should be losing somehow. Actually, I thought knight 3 maybe was a move. I was gonna go knight 4 but... Yeah, this move is fine, I guess. Because b3 is not really possible due to a knight d2 here. And we just get so much counterplay. Rook c8 is in the air. Also, this knight can jump to e4 eventually. Uh, I like this. So we went knight d6, which is probably best, because now I have to defend it like this. The main idea of this knight d6 is just to uh, keep my knight off, off of uh, c4. Oh yeah, I was also thinking about queen c3 here. Yeah, I was gonna go rook c8. Yeah. So, that's an extra bonus. Now rook c8 isn't possible. Yeah, probably I should have went rook d8 and then moved my king up. Due to the trick that's uh, here. Because the trick obviously is this. And I saw this just just late. But uh, late enough for him. <laughs> so instead we have to do something and we went knight c6. Seems like he has to go e4. Take. Hmm. He went a4 though, and then king e7. He probably missed that this trick wasn't possible anymore because we can just take on d6. So it seems like now we have some sort of counterplay. Maybe we should have immediately went for it because now knight a3 doesn't work because we can take here and take there. Uh, oh, I thought. Okay, maybe we can even take there. Yeah, rook a8 and knight c7, then just rook a7, I guess. Yeah. Hmm, rook a8 seems fine. So rook a1, probably. And then knight a5. Then move our king up, and we'll be okay. So now we're stuck defending this pawn again. This c4 move is pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, so I should take, I guess. Ah, because if he takes, we have this move, yeah. Yeah, this is by no means easy to hold. It seems like he should be doing okay here. But this move is even worse, because this knight c3 is just, um, yeah, I guess it's winning. So now we just uh, tried to make something out of nothing, and I thought he'd go uh, rook d6, and I was gonna go king e8, and check, and check, and check, and I had to go to uh, h6, I guess? f8 also is possible. I don't know, this feels just to be super good. Uh, worst case, you can just take there. And this ending is super easy. Two pawns up. So yeah, rook d6 seems to be winning. Rook f6 now. Instead it went rook a6. And we'll just snack the pawn.
Yeah, and now it should be over, I guess. But this move is bad. You should just take there. And just hold me sort of uh, in a Zook Swang. Because if we go something like Knight F5, you can just take, take, and play A8. So. We're sort of still made it Knight F1. Then just Knight B5 and threatening this. So. <laughs> you can just win this pawn as well. It's it's just not gonna work. And if he takes there, knight knight b6 is coming next, and uh, then a8 is just undefendable. But yeah, this a8 is wrong because this ending is pretty hard. Still, he's doing quite a good job. This move is bad. H5. G5, check, and then just move away. Yeah, that, this is a good idea, just keeping the king out with these pawns. So maybe. But then we have G4, yeah. And now he has to watch out for G3 and all sorts of uh, shit. So yeah. So if these two were one, uh, one square ha forward. I'd be okay, but now I'm not. Yeah, and he's winning, sort of. Well, not sort of, he's just winning here. But yeah, luckily enough, uh, the time scramble uh, helped a bit. And it's a draw now, obviously. Because uh, there's no way for me to uh, mate him. Well, there is a mating position, I have to say. Uh, I don't really understand the whole ruling of it, because, for instance, I'm just trying to make up a mating position, you know? Uh, for instance, this is a possible possible outcome, sort of. <laughs> I mean, he'd be stupid to have this. Oops. I'm trying to show this. So, if you were to move here and he thinks, well, I have to defend against this, or I don't know. Uh, let me just defend it like this. It, it could be possible, I guess. I don't know. It's somewhat strange to give this, because uh, they say, uh, ICC says, wait, I'm just looking it up. Uh, ICC says, white ran out of time and black has no material to mate, whereas this position is a mate. And there's no more material or anything, so it's somewhat awkward, I don't know. I understand it, but yeah, there is a mate possible. I mean, it's no denying it. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.